Dozens of helpless New Mexicans with serious medical issues trusted him to manage their money and take care of them. But Paul Donisthorpe now admits he stole millions from the nonprofit trust fund he ran, and he's facing prison time. News 13's Chris McKee has been following the story. Jessica and Dean, Paul Donisthorpe ran Desert State Life Management for the last decade. The feds now say he used money from more than 70 special needs clients' accounts to buy a vacation home, pay his taxes, even invest in cattle. Paul Donisthorpe used his position of authority and trust to prey on some of the most vulnerable citizens of our state. Investigators say he upended the lives of people who can't or don't know how to pay their own bills by stealing nearly $5 million from them. Now, federal prosecutors say Paul Donisthorpe will face justice. We hope this guilty plea helps th these victims as they put their lives back together. Donisthorpe is taking a plea deal on charges of wire fraud and money laundering, admitting he stole $4.8 million from the special needs clients of the Desert State Life Management Trust Fund he managed for the last decade. About 75 accounts were in Donisthorpe's control. Investigators say he took money from every single one of them. These are trust accounts usually set up by families or by courts to provide for the needs and support of individuals suffering from serious physical and or men mental disabilities. That money was spent on mortgages for Donis Thorpe's office in homes like this one in Angel Fire, also a Texas cattle company he co-owned. The money belonged to people like Donna Burke and her 96-year-old mom. This is just very good news. Justice is being served. Money paying for her mom's health care is now gone. And we, it's, we're hoping that she can keep the care that she's had. The hope now is the feds can recover some of it. I continue to keep my faith strong that it will come back and God says he'll restore. Now, as part of the plea deal, the feds have seized Donis Thorpe's homes, Albuquerque office building, and his share of that cattle business in Texas, which are collectively worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Jessica. All right, thank you, Chris. Donis Thorpe should be sentenced next year. The 62-year-old faces 8 to 12 years in prison and has agreed to pay back the millions he stole.